here I am sitting in my kitchen. Uh, next to me is my occasionally snoring dog. So if you hear some weird sounds, it's Fergus. I chose to sit here rather than in my chapel or in my study because prayer is not religious. It's about life. It's about inviting God into our everyday lives. God is, of course, already here in our everyday life before we ask him. Uh, when St Paul was preaching to the Athenians, he said to them, quoting one of their poets, in him we live and move and have our being. We are already drenched in, surrounded by and held up by the love and the grace and the power of God. But God doesn't want to take us over. And so it's up to us how much of ourselves we choose to reveal, not that the rest of it stays hidden, but we are entitled to live our lives without even thinking about God if we choose to. But if we wish to live our lives in a relationship with God, opening voluntarily our hearts and our lives and the lives and hearts of those we love and care about and the concerns of our world to God, then we can learn to direct our thoughts towards God and to express our hopes and our fears to him, to give him permission to move in and through us by our prayers. Yes, you can get the prayer books that have the lovely prayers of the saints, people who've given their life to prayer. And sometimes it's very helpful to use their words or to use the words of our own prayer book. But also we can frame our own simple sentences or our rants. If we're angry or upset, it's perfectly okay to rant at God, to cry before God, to laugh with God or simply to send up arrow prayers, help. You and I have got the best guide to prayer that we could ever have living inside us, and that's the Holy Spirit. So really, you don't need me or anybody else to teach you how to pray. You just perhaps need the encouragement, as if uh, you were sitting in a rowing boat and I was launching you off. Uh, that might not very, be a very good analogy. I would be hopeless in a rowing boat. I'm cat-handed. But what we're trying to say in this year of prayer in the diocese is that each one of us can open our lives and our hearts to the living God, to the Holy Spirit, who is God's gift to us through his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we do that, God doesn't expect polished words. He just wants us to tell him what's on our hearts, what's concerning us in our natural words or in groans. Not all of us use words very well, so sometimes perhaps imagine, use pictures, think of what you're longing to see in the lives of those around you and offer it to God. I like to use the words uh, that Jesus put in the mouths of the sinner, uh, who he contrasted with the Pharisee who prayed long words on the corner of the street. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. That's the orthodox version of the prayer. Of the prayer in the Bible is, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. And that's not, oh, woe, 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 I'm a sinner, I'm useless. It's just a little trick to remind us that just when that little voice in our head says, well, you're not worthy enough for God to listen to you. If we say, well, no, we're all sinners. I know that. I know I'm not perfect. God knows I'm not perfect. And God isn't waiting for me to be perfect before he listens and answers my prayers. Our prayers are the engine of God's action in the world because he waits for humanity to ask him to intervene. And so as we learn to open the windows of our hearts, uh, to let God's spirit into our homes, our families, our communities by the prayers that we say, openly with others. Learning to pray with others will be a great thing to do in this year of prayer in the diocese. But actually starting to let God into your everyday lives is where it begins. Not in the church necessarily, but here in your homes, in the reality of your lives, where God longs to be, that each of us may be transformed by his grace. Not to become saints or special people, but to become the people we were born to be. And that we each might be channels of God's grace so that all those people around us may also be encouraged by God's Spirit to be the people they were born to be. 
So enough of my words. Stop listening to this video. Sit down, stand up, go for a walk, whatever makes you feel comfortable and just takes your next steps in your prayer journey with God. Every blessing. Amen.